Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Let's Play. And if you guys missed out in the last episode, we have actually went and taken care of our final and last gym, and uh, that was actually against Vulcan, we got ourselves the Beacon Badge, and now we are finally here over at Victory Road, and uh, now we're just going to be going and making our way on over to where the Pokemon League is going to be, but I don't think we're going to be really having enough time to literally do everything that we need to get on over to where the Pokemon League is going to be, because uh, I know that we have to go about quite a few trainers that is going to be here in victory road but if we are lucky enough we can probably go and head on right on over to uh to the pokemon league and kind of save out uh the davy battle for the next episode uh, so without further ado let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap and let's get ourselves all underway out here so to start things off here first we got ourselves our our major pokemon out here our uh, level 70 pokemon uh this is phantom of course that does hold out on the bright powder we do have aura spear earthquake dragon pulse and also shadow force we also do have our HM Slave Pokemon out here, which if you guys could probably tell, I do not have cut on HM Slave anymore. Uh, so basically what I did is head all the way over to where Canterley City is, uh, removed off the cut, put on Rock Climb on HM Slave here, because I don't think we really do need cut anymore, because technically we never really needed cut in the first place, because uh, since Drayano kind of removed all the major type of HM moves, uh, we didn't really need to like really worry about using cut or Rock Smash or Strength or any of that type of sort like that. I'm pretty certain here in Victory Road, I don't think we really need to worry about about having strength or rock smash uh but if, if it actually does come to that here uh in victory road then we should probably just have it just in case on the safe side but we also do have waterfall as well too uh now also as well uh, we also do have shadow at level 59 still holding out with the magnet that does have crunch ice bang wall charge and also discharge we also do have polka of course at level 58 holding out with the lucky egg that does have moon blast nasty plot fly and also draining kiss we also do have queen at level 59 with the exp share uh on uh we actually do have uh, earthquake surf toxic spikes and also poison tail and also too we also do have luffy at level 59 with the quick claw that does have earthquake overheat flare blitz and also close combat and that is basically everybody on the team so yes unfortunately Esper is not going to be on our team uh, for a little while, but not to worry because once we uh, go and head on over to where the Pokemon League is going to be and all that stuff, I'm going to do some off record grinding and make sure to uh, make all my Pokemon go up to like around like level 60. Five ish maybe level 68 i'm not really too entirely certain on what type of levels that Drayano kind of put the elite four at but i'm a little bit nervous about that uh now i know that uh from uh, from watching uh, a few other uh, renegade platinum videos i'm pretty certain i think uh cynthia's team is like around like i think around like level 80 so i so i am a little bit uh, nervous about that but i don't think i want to go all that too high up on levels um but let's see, I think we actually do have some max repels on us for a little while, because I think we do have like maybe over 20 or so of those. Yes, we actually do have 28. Okay, not too shabby. Wow, we actually do have a big root as well. Hmm, that's interesting. I think I may probably want to add that to somebody. Because I'm pretty certain I think big roots actually, uh, I think heal us up every so often, like in battle or something like that. I can't really remember. Let me check that out. Uh, Pokemon hold item that boosts the power of HT, uh, HP stealing moves to let the uh, ho uh, holder recover more HP. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I was a little bit wrong on, on how that uh, big root works, but but yeah, I, I, I knew it had something to actually kind of recover on HP and stuff like that, but that's pretty interesting. But I kind of like having the bright powder on Garatina though. Alright, here we go. Got ourselves Gengar. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, I guess we could probably just set up for like a Dragon Pulse or something. I don't know if that's gonna like literally... Ouch. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Uh, maybe another Dragon Pulse? Oh no. Uh, man, I've started getting those, some of those, uh, PD, uh, PTSD flashbacks with those freaking double teaming and stuff like that with that freaking annoying Glaceon that Candace had back in, uh, back a few episodes ago. If you guys haven't checked that out, uh, please go ahead and do so. Uh, we also do have uh, Gardevoir, and I'm pretty certain I think uh, since Gardevoir here in Renegade Platinum is also part fairy, we should be able to just go ahead and use Queen and just set up for that Poison Tail and uh, hopefully get ourselves a few nice good hits on here. I am a little bit nervous about it though because, Gardev uh, because uh, Gardevoir is also uh, also having some Psychic type moves as well, which that's going to be a little bit of an issue. Ouch. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh, nice. Thank you. And there you go, level 60 for Queen. Nice. One of the Pokemon that I've been wanting to get up to level 60 now. And here we go, Garso's Espeon. Oh, great. Uh, I guess we could go into Shadow. I don't know if... Uh... Ooh, okay, not bad. Gonna lure the, uh, lure the attack out here. I think Crunch could actually do some damage, hopefully. 
There we go. Oh, so close. Oh, man. Come on. Maybe another hyper potion. Please don't really go for another one. Oh, jeez. The psychic did a lot of damage that time around. That is not good. Okay, how about fly? Oh, God. Be careful. Woo. Wow, that Espeon is just not playing around here for this episode for today. Jeez. Thank God. All right, level 59 for Polka. Well, it's kind of a good thing that I was uh, already prepared and everything for, like, uh, healing and stuff like that. Uh, okay, let's go back into Phantom. Uh, I want to say, I think Shadow Force could probably do some damage. Yeah, it does. All right, there we go. Executor is down. Thank God for Phantom out here. So, so be it. I will now divulge what I know of your future. And thank you for that money. Okay, let's see what we got up here. This freaking item. Ah, got ourselves TF-60, Giga Impact. Eh, don't really need it. Another move, I think that also does recoil damage, which is not my favorite of moves, but it's something to take. Because you never know. Uh, but I know that we do need some Hyper Potions to go and heal up everybody with, though. Uh, but there has been also, uh, I think, uh... E3 has literally been started, I think, now, and uh, I'm pretty certain I, I've just been hearing some uh, different confirmations of other new games that have been coming out, such as uh, Battlefield uh, 2042, which uh, I've been hearing some good things about that. I, I am a big Battlefield fan, uh, of course. Uh, I have been playing uh, Battlefield, I think, uh, since back around, I think, Back Company 2, I think? Uh, and uh, I've been really enjoying that uh, whole entire franchise for for a very long time now. And uh, see uh, see that whole trailer of uh, Battlefield 2042 really makes me intrigued to actually go and uh, actually get that game. But since I don't really have an Xbox One or uh, or sorry not Xbox One but Xbox Series X or or a PS5, I can't really go and grab it at all. But it does seem fun though, because I really like how you can actually just like uh, fly out of like out of like an actual jet and then just go and like uh, shoot your RPG at like another uh, jet that's coming like towards you. That's like awesome. That is like super cool. So I keep battling so I can soar even higher and into the skies. All right, well, let's see what you got out here. I don't want to try and go and battle out everybody that's out here, but okay. Oh, so that's not bad. To start things off, we got ourselves a knocked owl. Ouch, moon blast. Okay, well, at least that didn't do much. Hurricane, I don't think... Wow, that actually does a lot? Okay, well, at least you're paralyzed. Jeez. I thought Hurricane wasn't going to do that much to us. Okay, Hyper Voice, that's fine. I think an Ice Fang could actually do some damage. Yeah, because you are also flying as well, too. Okay, there we go. Pidgeot. Okay, so you're just going to have everything that's going to be all flying out here. Nice, another paralysis. There we go, Ice Bang. Pidgeot is down. Now we can get ourselves level 60 up here for Shadow. Okay, Dodrio is also going to be showing up out here. Now things can get a little bit hairy with Dodrio because uh, I know that you actually do have Tri-Attack and I think that can do a little bit of some damage. Wow, that actually does half. That's a little bit too terrifying. Ouch. Ugh. Well, I guess we have to go into Phantom into this one, then. Uh, let's go and set up for a Dragon Pulse. Nice. It doesn't even affect me at all, because I am Ghost. And I don't think even Shadow Force is not going to work on, on a flying type, I don't think. There we go. Dodrio's gone. I'll take it. Forfetch. Stay on in. Uh, let's see. Probably another Dragon Pulse. Yeah, there we go. Not bad at all. Bird Keeper, get on out of here. And guys, there's another ball. Ooh, nice. Another Max Repel. Just to replenish on the one that I kind of wasted already. Cool. And now if I try to remember, I think we have the... I think this is the actual rock climbing one that we need to worry about here. And I think there should be a trainer up in around this part that does have a Blissey. Which, uh, the good thing is that we do actually have Luffy for that one. I think it could be this trainer, actually, in particular, because, uh, I think she may probably still have the same exact type of team from before. Because her Blissey was pretty annoying, to, uh, to be honest with you, uh, in the vanilla game. Because if you didn't have a Fighting-type Pokemon, uh, Blissey would be absolutely, insanely hard to kill. There we go. And, let's see. Well, we do have a Phantom for Aurora Spear, but we already got some pretty nice good, uh, stuff out here for Luffy, anyways. Because we do want to try and get him all the way up to level 60 as well, too. 
So show me how you uh, battled to get here. So let's do this. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this trailer is gonna have. Probably have a different. Ooh, okay. Wow, it's actually gonna be all different. Well, actually, no, not really, because uh, she still has the blissy. Close combat. Come on, just get you out of here. Nice. All right, I knew that you were gonna become somewhat of a problem. But there we go. That's already been taken care of. And we also got ourselves a wall rain. That's also fine too, because one good, I think, uh, one good wall charge should actually kind of do some work here. There we go. Wall rain is gone. But uh, yeah, so if uh, so if E3, if uh, the E3 season is already out by now, uh, hopefully we can get some new stuff uh, from Nintendo as well, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully we get some more information with uh, Breath of the Wild 2 or something like that. Just get some more information about what's going on with that right now. Ooh, wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we may probably have to suffer our worst here right now. Yeah, just get that egg run out of here. Nice. Queen is all 61. I'll take it. Miss Magius. Uh, I guess we could probably bring out Poco out here for this one. Because I don't know how much Moonblast is going to do. Ouch. Wow, actually, Thunderbolt didn't even do that much. Uh, give me some health back. Thank you. Just do one little quick heal with a Hyper Potion for Miss Magius, and I think we should be alright here. Unless if we don't get a critical Thunderbolt, that would be a little bit too scary. There. Alright, Miss Magius is gone. I know I could have probably went and just kept on going with Garatina, but I kind of want to train up all my Pokemon out here. Uh, Junk Bluff. Okay. Um, what would be good for that one? I guess we could just probably stay on in here with Polka. I think Fly should probably work. Ooh, nice. Thank God that it missed with that Sleep Powder. Um, probably just go and heal up once more. I think we should be okay. Just watch it for the Sleep Powder. Wow. We are so lucky. No. I spoke too soon. Oh, man. We were being so lucky out here with all the Sleep Powders. It just kept on missing all the time. Instead of for a hurricane, that's not gonna even do that much, dude. Oh my god. Dude, stop trying to put me to sleep. I love Jump Puff, but sometimes you can just be a little bit too annoying sometimes. I'm sorry, Kirby, but I have to do this to you. Ah, there we go. And there we go. Beast Trainer is down. She had a little bit more Pokemon to her arsenal. Because I think before, I think she only had, like, uh, only three. Hey, we got ourselves a Nurse Joy. Nice. I didn't have to even... Oh, right. Whoops. Hold on, we have to run away. Run, run, run. Okay. Oh, no, and it also wore off. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, we can't have each of Sleeve at the beginning of our team. Come on, run, 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 run. Oh, thank God. And we're all good now. And I still have that Max Repel already set. Yep, so we're good. So Max Repel is already still set. Um, I guess we'll just keep Luffy on our side. Or we'll, or we could probably go and switch over to Poke, I think. Because I'm pretty certain I think that other trainer that's going to be happening is going to be the is gonna be that one ace trainer that actually has the Torterra out here. So I should probably stay on out with maybe with uh, maybe Togekiss. I could be wrong because I don't think Fly's going to do that much damage. Hmm. No. Now, I think this area may probably have at least an item or something over here. Oh, uh, no. Whoa, what the heck is that? Don't tell me. Is that a portal? Are we going to be battling out other legendaries that are going to be also here? Jeez. Oh, man. Things are going to get really scary on this one. Here, I a max elixir. All right, don't mind if I do. How in the heck are you supposed to reach on over there? There must be like a... Like a back part or something. Or probably when I get onto those... Uh, like where those stairs are. I think there may be like another part that may probably take me to the very top. Oh no. Don't tell me. Am I going to get stuck here? Yep. And then jump it. Oh come on man. Really? That's freaking annoying Pokemon. I swear, if you... There. Oh, no, we finally made it over, but we still are going to get bombarded with freaking Pokemon. So there's like another step or something that's over here. Uh, 
I don't know how I'm gonna reach on over to that part. There must be like another way or something. Well, I'll try to figure that out. Oh no. More magnetons. I know that we used to have a magneton back in our team originally uh, a long time ago. If you guys remember, I think back in our uh, Pokemon uh, Yellow Extreme randomizer, we actually had Bolton that was uh, a really big help throughout that whole entire series. I'm pretty certain I think we also won uh, that whole entire series, I think also with Bolton as well too, because I think my whole entire team didn't really die all that too much, because uh, since it was an extreme randomizer, we had some really nice good moves for everybody, which I thought that was awesome. Alright, here we go, switch out to Queen, ouch! Okay, that actually did a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting that one. Okay, fine then. Uh, well, I guess I could go into it's a loop because I do have uh, Earthquake. Just freaking knock you out. There you go. See ya. Tropius. Uh, I guess I could go out into Shadow. So for a nice good ball charge. That should probably do a lot of damage. Wow, really? Okay, here we go. Another wild charge. There you go. Now you're down. Mammoth Swine. Uh, well, I guess we got ourselves Phantom. We can go and take care of that. Then Mammoth Swine doesn't have to be so much of a problem then. There we go. Ooh, Avalanche. Hold on. Ooh. There we go. And Mammoth Swine is out of here. Almost up to level 71 with Phantom, though. Uh, Rampardos. That could be a little bit of an issue. I guess I could go as a Luffy out here then. I don't know. Would Earthquake do a lot of damage? Okay, it actually does. Ooh, but that's gonna hurt. Ouch. Uh, that's not gonna be the greatest. Maybe I'll just go and heal up then. If I just heal up on Phantom, we should be fine. Ooh, nice. Okay, the head smash missed. So for an Earthquake of our own. Rapardos is gone. We'll get that level. Nice. Uh, Heracross, I think, if we switch out into Polka, we can just go for a fly. Should be super effective out here. Nice. Okay, Heracross is down. Yeah, there we go. Level 60 for Polka now. Wow, Omar, you had some wild Pokemon there. And too bad now we don't really have uh, Nurse Joy. Well, I could actually go and run back to Nurse Joy right now because... Uh, because we are at level 60. Hold on. I'll make a beeline back to the... Back to Nurse Joy. Oh, thank God. I thought there was going to be another Pokemon that was going to probably be attacking us right now. But now we actually have to go and take care of the girl and her uh, Torterra now. Because I know that that's going to be somewhat of a problem too. Because she was also another trainer in the vanilla uh, Pokemon Platinum uh, game that I, that uh, that I played for the very first time. This trainer kept on killing me every time with her uh, Torterra. And then not only that, but not only the Torterra, but then there was also like an old guy with the uh, with the employee on, which that also killed me as well in here too. Because Victory Road uh, for Generation Four was actually somewhat pretty scary. Uh, we do have a Babel. Um, I guess I could go into Queen. Really? No. Oh, now you also have light screen too. I'm just gonna make everything just worse than it has to be. Here, get out of here, you. Okay, uh, Starmie. That should be fine, because we can just suffer a crunch. I think that should be able to do a lot of damage. Hydro Pump, ouch. Have to watch out for that. Alright, yeah, the Reflect. Uh, well, at least the good thing is, is that the Reflect already got worn off. Can go for a Hyper Potion out here. Oh, jeez. Alright, can you calm down, Starmie? Can you start bringing me down to half? Wow, okay. Well, you stopped it down going down to half, but now you're bringing me right down to red. Uh, okay. Maybe one more crush to work. No, 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 no. Ooh. Thank God. Holy crap, that Starmie was scary. And here comes, of course, Torterra. Um, what would be a good thing out here for this? Probably Polka, maybe? Because I don't know how much Fly is going to do. Alright, head. Ooh, okay. I think one more Fly can work. Ouch. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. I'm not going to waste up another Hyper. Because we're good for that. 
And my cargo. Queen, I could probably go... Well, actually, hold on. We could just set up a phantom out here for this, because ground types can be super effective out here, so let's just do it. Nice. And there we go. And then also Tauros, which we also stay on in, because we do have Aura Sphere. Oh, uh, but now our attacks will get lower, though. Uh, well, at least it still did a lot of damage. There we go. Taurus is gone, and thank God we can move on over. Alright, we got ourselves our first old guy. Now, I think you could actually go and dodge past the old guy, if I'm not mistaken. What is this? Oh, this is another way that you can actually get yourself another uh, item. Well, while we are here, we should probably just go ahead and just grab it. Ooh, wow, what the heck? There's actually a double battle up here? This could probably lead us to where that random portal is located at, because I would like to go and check that out. Huh. Maybe, um... Hold up. Okay, we don't really need anything for that. Pipers will just go and waste. Heal up a poke in there. Get everybody back up to full strength. Something tells me I think I have a funny feeling that this could probably lead us to where that portal is. But first of all, we have to go and take care of these annoying ace trainers. We got another double battle with these guys. Ooh, uh, okay. Uh, guess there's an a pump and a wish cast. That's a little bit terrifying. I guess I could probably switch out into Phantom, maybe? Or maybe into Luffy. I'm gonna just go and switch out there. Um, oh wait, hold on. Ooh, didn't want to do that. I want to use a move blast on Amy Palm and then actually go and switch out into Phantom. There you go. That's how we'll work it out. Okay, nice critical hit. I'll take it. He's a slave. You didn't really need to get all that, but. Ooh, a Venusaur. Okay. Well, this could actually work us. Uh, work in our favor for a little bit. Earthquake? I don't think that's going to do anything, because. I guess I could probably try out Earthquake, but. Yeah, it doesn't even affect. Uh, maybe a Dragon Pulse. Maybe for Wish Cash? I don't really know. There we go. At least that kind of did a little bit of some damage out there for Wish Cash. Which I'm really terrified about because I think Wish Cash may probably have Fisher by at this point right now. Wow, you actually have Spark too. Oh god, no, not an Umbreon. Umbreons are the worst. But at least the good thing is, is that we can actually go us up for an Aura Sphere though. If I could hit it. There we go. Oh, no. Come on, another one. Blast this Umbreon out of here. We're so close. Ooh, Gunk Shot. Ouch, yeah. I knew that Pokemon was going to probably go down at that point. Luffy. Go for a close combat, and I think one good Aura Sphere should kind of work out here. Nice. And I think that should be everybody. Yep, and we're good. Woo. That was one to say double battle. I was a little bit terrified. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter because I'm never going to be using Ace of Slave anyways. Now we got this one here. There we go. I kind of helped us out with that. Ooh, a rare candy. Uh, so it didn't even lead us to the portal at all. Man. All that for nothing. Yeah, and I don't really matter about that item anymore. Well, I guess what, uh, for right here, uh, well, let me just run away from this battle. So what I'm just going to do right now, guys, is I'm just going to go and uh, end off this episode here for today. Uh, we'll kind of worry about the other half uh, for the next episode. Uh, I'll probably do maybe some off-record battling here and there. So you guys may probably not get to see me battle like all, all these different trainers as, as like what I just uh, said from before. So I, I so like you guys may probably not even get to see me uh, battle out this old guy uh, for uh, for the next episode. Because I may probably be like, uh, like somewhere else like throughout here at Victory Road. So that we can just kind of continue onwards for what we're going to be doing. Um, but anyways, uh, don't forget to leave 
a comment, like, or subscribe. I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. And also, too, uh, stay tuned uh, for a Legend of Zelda uh, GBA uh, Let's Play out here uh, for uh, the original uh, Legend of Zelda uh, so that we can be able to head on over to, I think, Dungeon 3 is going to be happening uh, for the next episode. So if you guys are interested on in checking that out, uh, you guys can go feel free and do so. And I'll see you guys then. And peace.